All right, I thought about uh, our Bible story and also decided to read it. And our Bible story comes from Matthew chapter 21, verses 1 through 11. All right, I'm trying to get this where everybody can see it. Back it up a little. There we go. All right. Long before Jesus was born in Bethlehem, an old prophet said that God's chosen king would arrive riding on a donkey. The prophet said this was going to happen, even though most kings galloped on powerful horses. This story tells us how the words of the prophet came true. Jesus and his disciples were traveling to Jerusalem at a busy time of the year. Many people were coming for a week-long festival. Jesus sent two of his helpers to a village to find a donkey and its colt. The men found them, just as Jesus had described. They put blankets on the animals and led them to Jesus. Even though no one had ever ridden the donkey, it stood steady as Jesus climbed on. Travelers who were coming to Jerusalem for the holiday had heard that Jesus might also arrive. Jesus is coming! Jesus is coming! People said with excitement. Even before Jesus entered the city, people walked through the narrow streets waving branches they stripped from palm trees. Then Jesus came riding through the city on a donkey. When he appeared, the crowds grew more dense. There were so many people, many could not even see Jesus. So they simply waved branches high above their heads. Hosanna, Hosanna, the people said. Some laid their coats down in the street, so the donkey walked on a carpet of cloth. Others laid down their palm branches. Everywhere people gathered, I'm sorry, everywhere people greeted Jesus, saying, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Everything happened just as the old prophet had written. God bless the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hooray for God in heaven above. Matthew chapter 21, verse 9. All right, that would be our Bible verse. And I'm going to zoom in a little closer. All right, I don't know if it'll focus. God bless the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hooray for God in heaven above. Matthew chapter 21, verse 9. Again, this is how I teach them the Bible verse. Repeat after me. First I say it, then you say it. God bless the one who comes, then you say it. God bless the one who comes. I say it in the name of the Lord. Now you say it in the name of the Lord. I say it, hooray for God in heaven above. Now you say it, hooray for God in heaven above. Matthew, Matthew, chapter 21, chapter 21, verse 9. All right, in the story, who said... Hosanna. Who in the story said Hosanna? The people, right? The people in town. They greeted Jesus by saying Hosanna. Who in the story said this? Bring me a colt. Do y'all remember who said that? That was Jesus right here. Let's see. Jesus sent two of his helpers to a village to find a donkey and its colt. All right. In the story, who said the Savior of the world will arrive riding on a donkey? Who said that? The Savior of the world will arrive riding on a donkey. So that was the prophet. And a prophet is a person who um, kind of predicts the future or they, they kind of think they know what's going to happen before it happens. All right. And let's see, the next one says, in the story, who said this? Jesus is coming. Who said Jesus is coming? Let's go back. Who said Jesus is coming? The people. So the people uh, saw Jesus in the distance, and they said, Jesus is coming. He's coming. The people said with excitement. So it is very. it would be very exciting to live in town and to know that Jesus is coming. All right, and this is bite-sized prayers that we do in class sometimes. Um, it says, Dear God, when Jesus rode into town, people waved tree branches to welcome him. If I had been there, I might have, and then allow them to tell you what they may have done, and help me welcome you into my heart. Amen. 
hopefully this will help y'all with the Bible story and um, this Bible if you're interested in it um, it is the Anytime Bible by Dr. Mary Manns Simon for learning and sharing together and Scholastic makes it uh, this was actually Wyatt's Bible but it is my absolute favorite children's Bible and I'm wanting to say my mom got it at Walmart awesome little Bible for kids um, the company American Bible Society. So, all right. See y'all later.